Hey, Mike Healy here, and I have a new video for you, and it's about how to create an automated lead generation funnel. Now, it might sound like a lot of fancy words right there, but really what I wanna do is show you how I figured out how to automate uh, recruiting and giving presentations and, and uh, you know building rapport with people and making contacts and generating leads. And um, you know it took a while to figure this stuff out, but I'm gonna give you kind of a Cliff Notes version, and if you take what I show you in here and start to apply it, create some of these things, uh, I believe that you're gonna have some uh, much faster success rate in whatever you happen to be doing, uh, whether it's direct selling, networking, sales in general, and so on, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to my PowerPoint and we're gonna go through this, okay? So anyhow, the uh, name I obviously call to the Automated Lead Generation Funnel. I wanna talk to you quickly about what we're gonna cover. One is automating the lead generation process. I have a thing that I cover in here called the Moneyball Growth Formula. I have a five-step funnel system I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the case study of that funnel system and basically what I call uh, how to legally print money, okay? Now, marketing in general is pretty much like creating, taking a Rubik's Cube that has all these different colors and everything and figuring out how to match up the sides, match up everything so that you have a completed process, okay? The other thing that are, these are some kind of key phrases that I learned a while ago that I think are really, really important. Um, that the system is the solution. I want you to think about that. The system is the solution because the system is the leverage by which you turn ordinary people into extraordinary performers. Great businesses do not look for extraordinary people. Great businesses look for ordinary people and leverage them with extraordinary systems. Basically, this is a, your ability to use the systems I'm gonna show you to create um, a faster process, uh, really what it, what it means, okay? Now, the other thing is, is uh, if you have a sales force, there, I believe there's a myth of motivation. And this comes down to also your own motivation. It says, rather than motivate people to increase productivity, create systems to increase productivity, and the motivation naturally, or will naturally follow. Probably one of the most powerful statements I ever heard, and I've studied it over and over and over again, okay? So when you create the right systems, it increases your productivity. So instead of having to fire yourself up, go to all the pep rallies and so on, uh, the system itself will actually give you the motivation due to the fact that you're actually pre uh, creating results. And one other great one, I heard this from a guy who was public speaking, uh, automation is to your time exactly what compounding interest is to your money. And that was by Rory Vaden, okay? So let's talk about the Moneyball Growth Formula real quick. Um, it's based on, I call it the Moneyball Growth Formula because I love the mo movie uh, Moneyball, okay? Uh, I happen to have Brad Pitt as the uh, kind of the main guy in here. And what it did is it followed around the Oakland A's who had a very, very, very small athletic budget. This is a true story, by the way, uh, that were going against the New York, New York Yankees that had the biggest budget in the, uh, in the Major League Baseball, okay? And what happens is the beginning of the movie is they, you know, they basically get gutted. Um, they lost all their main players and the guys are sitting around in the office and Brad Pitt starts asking them questions and they're trying to figure out who they're going to bring on board. And they start asking the problem. And he keeps asking the problem. He says, well, the problem is that there's rich teams and poor teams, and then there's 50 feet of crap, and then there's us, okay? That's what Brad Pitt's saying to these guys. And he's saying this to his lead scout, okay? So ultimately, these guys are going against everything, and he's trying to think outside the box. I wanna slow down for a second with that one. He's trying to think outside the box. Eventually, he runs into this guy, Jonah Hill, uh, which plays um, uh, Richard, or Brand, something Brand. I'll think of his name as I go through this, okay? And he confronts him because this guy basically goes to Yale um, and he's kind of a numbers cruncher and so on, okay? So this is really kind of a turning point uh, in this movie and for the, uh, the Oakland A's is when they found this guy, okay? And he said uh, down in the parking garage when, when Brad Pitt confronts him, he says why these guys listen to him, what makes him so special. He said there's an epidemic failure to understand what's really happening. Uh, and obviously they're talking about baseball. People who run ball clubs think in terms of buying players, okay? And if you've ever been in a networking company, you know that. Uh, companies a lot of times will bridge uh, big players to come in and so on. But he goes on to say, he said, your goal shouldn't be by players, but to buy wins, trying to figure out the wins. But in order to get wins, you need to get runs. But in order to get runs, you need to get hits. So you have to really, really actually go all the way back to the beginning of this to find out where you're going, okay? Now, all that in mind, uh, you know, so that's kind of the, the, the Cliff Notes version of that. And I would recommend that you watch that movie. It's fantastic, especially from a marketer standpoint. Great movie. Um, but I've always had a process that I call the five-step recruiting process. So you've seen in videos if you watched any of my stuff that I prospect, I contact people, I present to them, I follow up, I repeat the process. And basically I've done this online, or I'm sorry, usually with a phone or an email process. It's about as fancy as it got, and I've done that for like 20 years. 
But what I asked myself eventually, now that we've got new school technologies with the internet, is how can I automate this process? How can I really do this? And really what it comes down to based on today's technology is if I asked you, which would you rather dig a ditch, you know, for me uh, 10 feet deep and hundred feet long, if I gave you a hundred grand just to finish the ditch, would you rather use a shovel or a backhoe? Obviously the backhoe, okay? So what I created and what I started to study out were what I called lead generation funnels. And I'm gonna give you an example of the one that I created uh, for my company. Now I do own an energy, co uh, energy company uh, called Bidpoint. Uh, you're welcome to look it up and so on and see what it likes, but what it looks like. And, I'll, and below this video, I'll put uh, things where you can actually opt into these funnels so you can actually watch the process. You might not be interested in the funnel itself, but watching the process, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover from top to bottom kind of what I created, okay? So knowing this, of automating it, I thought about the same process going back to the five steps from an internet uh, standpoint, okay? So I realized that I had to get traffic, which is people looking at it. You have to drive them somewhere, somewhere they're gonna look at it, you gotta capture information, and you gotta build rapport, okay? That really is the essence of what you're doing, and then you make the proposal after that, basically pitch. A lot of, if you don't have these in the correct order, a lot of times it doesn't work either, okay? So if we started with traffic, obviously there's just a tremendous amount of traffic out there these days, and you don't have to be an SEO expert or anything like that. You really just have to understand that you can buy traffic these days. The same as back in the day, you would have had to go grow corn uh, if you wanted corn. Now you can go to the store and buy a can of corn, okay? It's the same thing with traffic. You don't have to be SEOs. You know, you can just buy people to look at your stuff. You also have to have, uh, have some place to send them. Now a landing page is very simple. And you can get landing pages these days for like you know a couple of dollars a month. Uh, you don't you you know you could have just a blog page. When I say landing, it's just somewhere somebody's going to go visit. The other thing is capture. Now you can capture people uh, by having them opt in, which is uh, something kind of cool. Uh, but I also would say that you can pixel people, but then that's kind of a more complicated thing. And then after you get their information, you basically start to communicate with them. You're really building rapport. This is kind of the big part, and I'm gonna show you how this works uh, in the next section here. Rapport, and then you make your proposal, get in the join, sign up, buy your product, whatever it might be, okay? So real simple. So we're gonna break down this top to, marketing, top to bottom marketing funnel as an example, okay? We're gonna start with the first section of it, and we're gonna split it in half. And this is kind of where the leads come from, where they go, what they're gonna do, okay? So basically, I got a, I got a Facebook post here that, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back here. I got the Facebook post. I thought I could have a, my mouse on here but I have a Facebook post on the far left that came from a blog post I created. So my, my core thing was I created the blog post that had a little information that that was gonna be my cornerstone to explain something. And inside the blog post, there was a link to go to the opt-in page where they're gonna give me my, their information. I advertised the blog post by taking the blog post and making it a post on Facebook and driving paid traffic to specific my target market to go there. So then when they clicked on the Facebook post, they went to the blog, they read a little information, and then they opted in. Okay, now if you think about this, people are already weeding themselves out of this funnel. They're going, you know, if they're not interested, they're not gonna click around on it. But if they go to the opt-in page, I've already got somebody that really wants something. So the second half of this is if they've opted in, the first thing I'd send them once they've opted in is I send a quick bridge page. All the bridge page is, is it's just kind of a little extra thing. It's a short video that basically is an autoresponder email that comes out, says, hey, thanks for opting in, or I'm sorry, it just sends them, redirects them directly to the video, redirects them there and they check that out. The other thing is, is now that they've opted in, I delivered the PDF that I put on there, but I also sent them a sequence of four videos that explain a little more in detail about the benefits, or five videos, the benefits of being like, you know, getting paid on energy and so on. And at the end of the video, the last video, the last final video basically is the call to action to go check out the last bit of information about our company and potentially sign up as, a, as an advisor with us, okay? So the same process can work for anything that you're out there doing, okay? Now, this all comes down to, if you think about it, if you create a funnel that's not super complicated, uh, it's just the same process. In fact, if you want, you can rewind this and pause it and you know, copy my mine. Um, but I, if I asked you this question, if I gave you $5 for every dollar you gave me, how many $1 bills would you give me? More than likely, you'd give me as many as you could, right? So what I mean by this is this, is if you can buy traffic and you can send them through a funnel that's automated, it pretty much is evergreen is what they call it. It runs on autopilot 
And if I know that at the end of the funnel, if somebody actually becomes an advisor with our company, does a few deals and so on, on average, every person that becomes a, a, an advisor with us puts $500 into my pocket, that gives me the, uh, the value proposition of what that person is worth, what one distributor, one, one advisor is worth to me, okay? If I reverse engineer this, I know that if only if one out of 100 people that gets the book becomes an advisor, I can then reverse engineer that and realize what it takes for me to get the 100 people to that landing page to begin with. And if you think about it, if I spend $200 but make 500, how many times do I want to spend 200, okay? So it's really, really a powerful principle here if you understand that, okay? And that's kind of where it goes from, from there. So what I would tell you is, uh, is this, okay? You can go check out some of the videos I got on YouTube, my Facebook channel, and my training. Let me get it. And I have a members lab where I can actually show you inside there. I have a lot more detail. It's totally free to become a member of my lab that has videos on Facebook marketing, uh, YouTubes, um, generating funnels, Facebook advertising. Oh, I said? I said Facebook advertising. Pretty much everything you would need to create these things, to show you what you need, to build the rapport with people. I, I've got a ton of videos in there and it's, it's absolutely free. It's just something I have under one place. You opt in and you can get it and check it out and there'll be a link somewhere around here the, the, you can watch it and uh, get to get that information and go opt into that. So anyhow, hopefully, hopefully at least got your wheels turning and what the potential is, how if you automate this stuff that you can really, you know, you can just really just send as much money at this one, you know, at the front end, start driving people through that. They weed themselves out. By the time they come out at the end, uh, you've got a full-fledged person that's, you know, that fully understands what you're doing, what you're into, ready to roll. And in most cases, you don't even have, you haven't even talked to them yet and they're already an advisor because you've automated the entire process. So hopefully you enjoyed that video or this video and, uh, you know, go ahead, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, I'll put more content out there for you. But uh, thanks again and I'll see you on the other stuff. Thanks.